In the event that you have a power failure in the middle of a backup, your catalog file may become out of sync. You'll actually see an error message in the operations log that says it's unable to proceed with the backup because the catalog is out of sync and it should be repaired using tools, repair, update existing catalog file. We can see that by going to the tools menu on the left, choosing repair catalog file. The first option says update existing catalog file. We click OK. We choose the backup set that needs to be updated. Retrospect will then go out to the media and begin to update the catalog file. The catalog out of sync message basically means there's data in the catalog file that does not match the data on the media. If the data on the media is not in sync with the data in the catalog file, Retrospect reports this catalog out of sync message because it's unable to proceed with writing new data to the backup media. In some situations, Retrospect may actually report another error message that says resynchronizing slow. If you're doing a catalog update and you see resynchronizing slow appear on the screen in this area, then it's very likely that there's a missing end of data marker on the backup media. And your only option after about five or ten minutes of seeing the resynchronizing slow is to click the stop button and stop the catalog rebuild at that point. Once you've stopped the catalog rebuild, any additional files that might exist at the end of the media will be lost and will not be available for restore at a later time. Your next backup will actually ask you to insert an additional piece of media so it can continue writing new data. If you really have had some sort of failure, such as a power failure or a system crash in the middle of a backup, it will often leave the media in an unhappy state, meaning that it does not have that end of data marker. The end of data marker, unfortunately, cannot be easily repaired, so it's often best to update the catalog file the best you can and then continue your, your future backups on the next piece of media. At the end of a successful catalog update, Retrospect will ask you if there's any additional media to rebuild. At this stage, Retrospect does not know how many additional members you might have, so it's going to prompt you to select any additional members. In this case, we don't have a second disk, so we're just going to click No. And then that will complete the catalog update. Now I can use Retrospect to back up to backup today without any further trouble.